after Germany gives a green signal on sending its Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine, all eyes are now on an expected announcement from the United States clearing supply of its M1 Abram tanks. Reports say a decision to send some 30 tanks could be announced today, though it could take months for the tanks to be delivered. The nod for Abrams will be a big reversal from the Biden administration's earlier stance. It comes just days after 50 defense ministers from NATO allied nations met in Germany to discuss Ukraine's war needs. And battle tanks had topped the agenda there. Earlier today, Germany gave the official nod to supply its Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine, opening the road for Poland and Britain to send in their tanks. Germany was initially reluctant to give a nod for the delivery, fearing an escalation of war with the Russian side. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz now says his government is not putting the country at risk. The German defense minister says Germany will support Ukraine as long as necessary. Meanwhile, in recent weeks, Pentagon officials have signaled that they're planning to build Kyiv's security forces. But the Abrams are expected to be ordered from manufacturers rather than transferring them from existing U.S. stockpiles. Top national security advisors from Germany, France, Britain, and the United States are set to meet in Washington. They will discuss the status of the war in Ukraine as the UK has agreed to send its Challenger 2 tanks and Poland is expected to send its Leopard tanks to Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Ukraine war has also raised the need to boost the production of artillery ammunition. The Pentagon repeatedly boosted its production of artillery shells by 500 percent within two years. The U.S. will pump in billions of dollars to cover up shortfalls caused by the war in Ukraine and build up stockpiles for future conflicts. According to a top U.S. official, the production of the 155 millimeter shells required by Kyiv will raise to 90,000 a month in two years.